Generally, when people think of group work, they think, oh god, but I've really enjoyed it so far. It's, it's been fun. The greatest ideas are made by a team, and in our team here at Basel Spence, the challenge is working together and working fast. I'm currently fixing our site model, including the whole piece that has fallen off on this end. It really challenges your philosophy on engineering, thinking, God, do you know what, I don't know if we can make that thing span that far or cantilever that far. The Basil Spence competition or project is about 45 years old. It's a flagship part of the teaching at Bath. Basil Spence was a very influential uh, modernist architect, was strongly architectural but profoundly integrated in so much that it was engineered as well as sort of poetically imagined. He stands as a kind of emblem of the project. Our engineers really helped us with the form and the design aspects and similarly the architects in our group are also helping out with the structure. It's just, it's, been actually quite positive. The project is about eight weeks long. They work in teams of five, sometimes six, which are composed of three architects and two or three engineers. Everyone is a designer and everyone has a kind of equal voice. You can kind of point out different aspects and just say it's not really specifically, oh, that architect did it or that engineer did it, it's just someone in the group came up with it. The idea of architects being arty and engineers being practical, I think everybody's kind of on a spectrum. That's probably what helped us work so well together that we weren't segregated. We've all combined our different strengths and weaknesses and we've both learnt from each other as well. Yeah. What was particularly notable this year was the variety of different schemes. So from one single brief, every scheme was just, it could have been a completely different brief. We've narrowed it down to play and exploring expression and reflection through mediums like dance and music. We take tram carriages which then become our functions. We're building off the original Weymouth Pavilion that's still there, it's a theatre, it's a ballroom, and then we're building another art centre. We actually decided to make our building 100% biodegradable, which was the temporary element of our structure. The way that design is taught is around what we call the crit, which is in effect a review. It's a bit like the Great Bake Off, really. <laughs> Essentially, they've got to come up with an idea really quickly test it at an interim and fully explain it at a final review. So it's a fast paced, frankly terrifying project. What we're asking for is imagination as well as resolution. There were some unexpected parts, but they were all positive. So they liked our main ideas of the carriages and so on, but they really wanted us to push it further. What I was looking for is a really simple explanation of how their structure was working which is what you'd be expected to in real real life. We were praised in our crit that everything was resolved and our architecture and structure and environmental aspects all kind of merged together and worked together. All of these communication skills that you learn on these projects are really really super valid within the real world. It's been a really good way of realising that we can actually push ourselves to be really innovative. We really took a step to push this year and I think it was a really good idea. I think that's the right landscape for design education, for it to explore the outer limits of possibilities and, and imagination. That's what a degree in architecture and engineering is about, is imagination. <laughs>